Hey folks, this is Saiyan Chan. Today I'm in the lovely city of Cali, Colombia, and I'm joined by the lovely Miss, can you tell us your name, please? Hey, my name is Juliana, hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you for coming on to my channel. And thank you. Yes, uh, could you please tell the audience how old you are? Okay, I'm 28 years old. 28 years old. Yeah. Okay. And I notice your English is very good. Can you please tell me how you learned English? Okay, first, it's not that good, but I always try to get better. Uh, I learned English in the United States. I was living in Naples for six Naples. months. Naples? Yeah. Six months? Yeah. Okay. And then I made an internship in Europe. Okay. I was living in France and my whole university was in English too, so I had to improve it. Okay. Yeah. So you went to university in France? Yeah. I For see. one year. For I made one an year. exchange. Okay. I've been coming here to Cali for 10 years now. Wow. And the English has always been terrible. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. But th this is because here schools are not that good in English, so we don't have public schools for that so if you want to learn English in Cali you have to pay for a private school or something like that and okay. you know the situation the economic situation here for people is not that good for pay a private school sure sure of course yeah uh, if let's say that you want to meet people that speak more than just hello how are you but can actually have a you know a 10-15 minute conversation what percentage of the people in Cali can speak okay English, do you think? Okay, I think like 10%. Yeah, that's the number that I, I come across consistently. So my guys, if you want to meet women that look like her, you need to learn how to speak Spanish, all right? This is uh, very rare what I'm bringing yeah. to, to you guys. English-speaking ladies in Cali, Colombia. Very, very, <laughs> very rare. Um, yeah. What, what do you do for work? Okay, I'm political science. Political science. I'm political scientist. In this moment, I'm working for a foundation. I help people to improve their life in some vulnerability places okay so yeah <laughs> all right um so can you tell me a little bit about how good or bad the economy is in cali right now oh my god that's serial because of the corruption please so, explain okay we have a lot of good stuff here but we have uh, many politicians that are super corrupt super corrupted yeah and that's the problem because we have the money but people used to steal everything yeah so that's the problem okay but um in general would you say that it's hard to get a job a good job yeah and hard to get a stable job yeah okay because in one of the other interviews i had with uh, another lady and she was not working she was unemployed and then the people in uh, one guy in my comments, he just said, oh, she should just get a job. Yeah, the guys used to say that, and it's not that easy. It's not that easy, yeah. okay? This is, it's, it's not like in the United States where there's just millions of openings of people. Yes, the jobs are not good, but even in Colombia, even the bad jobs are sometimes hard to hard to come by yeah especially with stability and that the and that the uh, business owners don't screw you and and you know don't give you your pay it's it's rough here when it comes to the economy yeah the thing here is that you have to work a lot of hours here yes and you want to get paid like nothing like two dollars per hour or that that's a lot I yes mean. two is a lot and you don't have time for your family, you don't have time for everything, you don't have even money for pay your stuff if you have a family. Here, there is a situation here in Cali that is that girls used to have, they don't have a planification life, like for kids. Yeah. So they don't have that kind of education. So they, ha they used to get kids super soon. And after they don't have the, I don't know how to say it, like, 
they don't have the, the money to to take to take care of their child. Yeah. Can you get it? Yeah, you. Yeah. They, it's just uh, a lot of the girls mm -hmm. have get pregnant young, and yeah. they just because because of that they just don't have the ability to properly raise the children yeah. and the cycle of poverty just continues from generation to generation and it sucks so yeah. um, n now that you brought up that subject can you tell me why there are so many single moms in all of Colombia like why are girls getting pregnant at 16 17 18 two three babies and it's just it's a disaster es un desastre yeah it's okay. un desastre that is because here in Colombia we don't have the education the government doesn't do the education for that for that thing so obviously we have like programs but people doesn't care about it so we prefer like have kids for example there is a situation about if i get a man uh, i can get a kid for him and he gonna uh, support me for that reason so that's the way of thinking Mentiras, here. Mentiras, lies, <laughs> lies, lies. Yeah, yeah, and that's a lie because means the the, the men know. the men don't most of the men they also earn around the minimum salary. Yeah. Of what course. are they going to do? They can't support themselves. They can, forget about supporting a woman and their kids, right? Yeah. And the minimum salary here sucks. Sorry for what, the word. What is what what is the minimum monthly salary? It's like a uh, Two hundred dollars per month. Yeah. In here, a co cost like ten thousand pesos. That it is like two thousand dollar. No, two sorry, dollars. two two dollars. Two dollars. Um, you can make the, the count. No, you can pay for a coke every day. You can pay for a delivery every day. You can go. You can even buy the basic stuff for you for living. Not on the minimum. Here the. How do you say like inflation? Inflation. The inflation here is yeah terrible. Like a few a few months ago, when I last was here in Cali, a few weeks ago, the inflation it was one dollar was four thousand three hundred pesos. Five thousand. Now it's oh one pace one pace five thousand pesos is now a dollar. The inflation got almost twenty percent worse in two months. And yeah. the dollar is at an all-time high. So, whereas before, people, like, would you say the majority earned the minimum? Yeah. A lot of people. So, a lot of people were earning around maybe $300. Now, it's like going down to t in the 200. So, yeah. it's really, really, um, really, really rough. 